And we are back here in Brownsburg, and Gary's tired of me calling him the great Gary Vogel. Yes. This is his new Stop book. It. Good morning again. Good, <laughs> good morning. Good, good morning. morning. You were book signing when, sir? November 30th at the gallery in Danville, Indiana. Terrific. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about your book, and I was going to ask you to pick a couple out of the book. Some of them are new. Some of them are ones that have been published yeah. before. But a couple of, pick a couple of favorites. Well, this was a favorite during a really cold winter, yeah. uh, and that is the cartoon of uh, the linemen who have to brave the <laughs> yeah. below zero temperatures. Right. And uh, another cartoon was uh, this one here I did after Kaepernick. Uh, the first time he sat, and then later where the, the whole kneeling thing started, and I was just showing that uh, there are some of our soldiers who can't stand. Okay, I am going. Let's talk about this because this is interesting. I saw this cartoon, yeah. and I loved it. Even though I support what Kaepernick did, mm -hmm. and you may not totally support that, mm -hmm. but you could look at that cartoon, and you'd have to think about it. Mm -hmm and really kind of decide what you did think, yes? Sure, and I think that that's what, I think that's what makes cartoons effective, editorial cartoons, yeah. is it does make you think, and it makes you kind of uh, value. Now, the, one of the criticisms I get all the time is that I'm too biased, but that's what editorial cartoonists are. Well, that's are. what editorials are. Exactly, yeah. I mean, we're taking a side, yeah. and uh, I think some people think that we're just drawing comics, but not every editorial cartoon is humorous. Uh, we, uh, we try to use humor as much as possible, but like 9-11 is not humorous. No, in fact, show the 9-11 thing, because this is one that right, so. uh, raised a lot of money, correct? Yes. And I also want to show that one with the eye before we... All right. Okay, so that raised some money and was international. $130,000 just on the sale of a poster. Yeah. And uh, so that was... And it's in... I think it's in firehouses all over the country. And then, obviously, then this one... Um, well, this is Osama bin Laden. You know, I cropped in really tight on his face, but I think you still know who it is. Well, absolutely. And yeah. uh, just the idea that in his eye, that here's the mastermind of terror in the last moments of his life and was terrorized. And your daughter gave the... And my daughter came up with the caption. She just worked at the Star at the time, and she happened to look over my shoulder in my office as I was drawing it and said, an eye for an eye. And I, incredible. Okay, so what I'm going to yeah. ask you to do in the next segment, sir. And my daughter's name is Ashley. Go ahead. Ashley, no. I'm going to ask you to sit at your chair sure. and show us how technology has changed the profession of being a um, cartoonist. Very cool. Is that cool? We yeah. will be back in one hour. Stay with us. Wonderful to see. Yeah. A lot of history in there, too. I mean, obviously, it's... It's a years, years old, you know, comic collection. But sure. the kind of history that it's covered just makes it so much more impactful. And how quickly they can turn around. I mean, there's, right. I mean, there's pretty good detail for being a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. You know, you think comic book, but there's pretty good detail. That's yep. very, very high end artwork there. That's going hours on. within a breaking and news. They, well, they they've flip got it pretty it. quick. Yep. It's it's pretty amazing. So very, very talented. So neat to see. Well,